on the workbench today the team associated mt8 versus the traxxas max which one of these is the better purchase what is the best option for you we're gonna bash them we're gonna look at them and we're gonna see what the verdict is if you're new to the channel welcome my name is troy this is roadside rc you'll tend to find bashing and crawling and drifting and racing plus product review videos and how to's and today very exciting little competition here as soon as i got this mt8 all of you immediately said well how does it compare to the max mr rich drc brought his max over we're going to check him out here on the bench and then we're going to go bash them the first thing that we really really notice is um even though this is supposed to be eight scale and this is supposed to be i think they claim 10 scale they look they they look the same <laughs> they look absolutely the same i mean literally the exact same wheelbase if you pick the max up and you look at it front to nose or back to back same width now this is this is a v1 max with the wide kit on it so with the wide kit it is that length with the v1 it's actually a little bit shorter than the v2 so the v2 would actually be even a little bit longer than the mt8 so that really really is interesting there so dimension wise very very similar price wise a little over 500 dollars ish plus or minus that you get into this vehicle over here just just crest over 500 dollars it's like 505 509 something like that so really not a huge price gap really between the two of them until you start getting into the mods and stuff like that we will be running this today these are the arma backflip lp the shorter backflip tires we will be getting into that if your max did not come with the wide max kit then obviously that is an additional cost on top of it taking the body uh, bodies off obviously one of the big deals full cage on the inside here plus the clipless body system the latch mechanism from Traxxas over here we have a partial cage plus normal body clips inside we're talking full center diff we're talking 150 amp ESC with a motor and everything aluminum chassis versus this VXL 4S system plastic chassis honestly this is going to come down to a little bit of preference you know it used to be that plastic chassis was kind of a bad thing but really especially with the max and the x max trexas has kind of proved that it is durable you don't have to have the aluminum chassis in order to have durability but you know you do have a couple differences here fixed control arms fixed links versus full adjustability shocks on both are nice for sure uh, but really the big difference is is how much power do you want to give it do you want to be capped at 4s total max is 4s or do you want to actually be able to go all the way to six we're going to run them here today 4s versus 4s as a comparison but you can go 6s in this team associated and really turn it up from there so we're going to get them out time to get the batteries plugged in and let's go have a bash <laughs> oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. A sentin joins in the fun. Boom. Oh, I nosed it hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rachel, you okay? Easy backflip. Oh, Bounce. So does it bounce more than this one? Nope. Boom. <laughs> mm. 
missed the ramp again. Oh, but did you see the front flip that I completely meant to do? Woo! Nice. I don't know, you think I got a backflip off of this ramp? Oops. Not if I keep missing the ramp. <laughs> I, just missed it. I just missed it all the way. Oh, I didn't. Like a ding dong. The baseline. There we go. Oh, it's so responsive in the air. <laughs> oh, that was about to be crazy. I, 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 I can't, I can't drive this truck. I can't drive it. It's too sensitive. It is very sunny. Alright, so we got the camber link. Alright. Oh, dang it! <laughs> Did you see that front flip? Ooh, on the nose. <laughs> oh, you nailed the double. Doubles. Ow! Oh! oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I, meant, I meant to do that. <laughs> all right so this is probably the story of the day right here so i found this early on in my testing with the mt8 and i don't know if team associated really knows yet but at the end of the day this is the same as the kaiju ext when it first came out that these upper control arms just aren't really quite made of the right metal they're just not quite strong enough again no issues with the front just like the kaiju ext so you know what i'm gonna do I'm going to get me a set of the revised Red Cat uh, rear uppers, stick it on there, and I bet that'll completely solve it all together. But in this day, while we beat the heck out of the Max, we also beat the heck out of it, and we broke two upper control arms. We replaced the one. So this is clearly the story of the day. I think, honestly, this truck has a lot of potential. It is so good, and everything that we did was on 4S. So 4S versus 4S, it was pretty evenly matched. 
Can you imagine what this thing would be on 6S? It'd be really, really good. So we're going to fix this up, and we will see you in another video. Thank you for all your support, and we will see you then. Goodbye.